What? I don't want to sit in the middle seat. I want a window seat. Ah, oh, come on. Have you ever been in this situation before? If you don't like your seat, then you can say, excuse me, ma'am, is it okay if I change seats? Excuse me, ma'am, is it okay if I change seats? I don't want a middle seat. I would rather sit by a window or by the aisle. Okay, sometimes they'll allow you to change seats if they're nice. Okay, or you could say, excuse me, sir, would it be okay if I take that empty seat by the window? Sometimes you get a really bad seat, right? But you can see an empty seat that you would rather sit in. Okay, then you could ask them. You could say, excuse me, sir, would it be okay if I take that empty seat over there? Okay, so we use this phrase, excuse me, to get attention. Okay, so if you want the, the flight attendant to, to notice you and to help you, then you have to say, excuse me, excuse me, okay? And then once you have their attention, then you need to ask a question in a very polite way. Okay, it's nice to be polite in every situation, but especially uh, when you're flying. Use very nice words, nice questions. You could say, would it be okay if I change seats? Or is it okay if I sit over there? Or could I switch seats? This seat is a little bit uncomfortable for me. Okay, so this is how we ask polite questions in this kind of situation. Okay, now let's say you're traveling with your husband or wife. This is a big problem. Very often, you can't sit together. You have different seats. Okay, you're taking, let's say, a 10 hour flight and you can't even sit with your wife or your husband. That's a really sad situation right? Uh, and it's a very common situation. I've heard of this happening so much. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you can talk to the person and ask them uh, if, if you can change seats with them. Okay, you could say, excuse me, sir, my wife and I didn't get seats together. Would you mind switching seats with me? Switching, that means changing or swapping. Switching, swapping, changing. All of those mean the same thing. Would you mind switching seats with me so I can sit with my wife? Okay, if they're a nice person, they'll say, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, so let's imagine that we're sitting on the plane and we are freezing. <laughs> we're shivering, it's so cold. Okay, and we can see the flight attendant coming by, okay? So what are we going to do to get his attention? We're going to say, excuse me, sir. And then what are you going to say? You could say, it's really chilly in here. Chilly means cold, cool. It's, it's too chilly, you're freezing, right? Could you turn up the heat? Turn up the heat means make it warmer. Or could I have a blanket? Excuse me, sir, it's really chilly in here. Could I have a blanket? Okay, very often uh, planes have blankets, right? Hopefully there will be a blanket on your seat. Now, usually if you're flying in economy class, the blanket is really small and it, it covers your legs. So it really doesn't keep you very warm. So you could ask for another blanket. You could say, excuse me, sir, could I have an extra blanket or another blanket to stay warm? Okay, or you could ask them anything else. Um, excuse me, sir, could I have a glass of water? Or could I have a snack? Or could I have something to eat? Anything, okay? This is how you would ask them the question. Okay, now, uh, when the flight attendants come by to serve food and drinks, they are going to start the conversation with you. Okay, they're going to say, would you like chicken or pasta? Okay, chicken or Pasta. This is pasta here. Airlines always have two options. 
one meat option and one vegetarian option. Okay, at least in my experience, that's the case. Okay, would you like chicken or pasta? What are you going to have? I don't know. I might take the pasta. It depends on which, what mood I'm in. Okay, so then they're going to say, uh, what would you like to drink? Or would you like anything to drink with that? And then you can say, um, sure, I'll have uh, a Coke, please. Or I'll have Sprite or water. If you, if you want something but you're not sure if they have it, you can say, uh, do you have milk? And they'll say, oh yeah, sure, we have milk. And they'll pour you a glass of milk. Or if they don't have it, they'll say, sorry, ma'am, or sorry, sir, uh, we don't have milk. Could I get you anything else? Then you can say, sure, I'll have a tea or, or something like that. Okay, um, now another problem that is very common uh, when you're boarding the plane, boarding means to get on the plane, okay, is you have this problem. You need to put your bag up there in the overhead compartment, but there's no room. It's full. So what do you do? How can you solve this situation? Well, you could ask one of the flight attendants, excuse me, could you help me find a place for my bag? Could you help me find a place for my bag? And they'll say, sure, I would love to. And they'll find somewhere near you, hopefully, uh, a spot for your bag. Okay, uh, no. Hopefully you don't get sick when you're flying. But if you get sick, uh, this thing is called a sick bag or a barf bag or air sickness bag. Okay, so you need to take the bag and barf, throw up, you throw up into the bag. Now, what if the bag gets full? You're really sick and you fill up the bag. Then you could say, excuse me, could I get another sick bag? Could I get another sick bag? And then they will bring you uh, a new one. Okay, uh, also when you fly, it's very common to cross time zones, right? Sometimes, I've actually, I've flown this way around the world and the other way around the world. So. Sometimes it can really, the time can be crazy. Like you can take off one day and then land even earlier in the day than you took off. You leave at 4 p.m. and you arrive at 2 p.m. Okay, how is that possible? Okay, um, so if you want to know the local time, you could say, uh, what is the local time right now? So you could ask one of the flight attendants, excuse me, what is the local time right now? Or what will the time be in Frankfurt when we arrive? Excuse me, I'm just wondering, what will the time be in Frankfurt when we arrive? Okay, now, you might not just talk to the flight attendants. Maybe you want to have a conversation with other passengers, someone who's sitting next to you. So what would you say? Well, this is what you can say. You can just say, hi, how are you? You know, you sit down, you look at them, smile. Hi, how are you? They say, I'm doing great, thanks. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing good, thanks. Then you can say, what's taking you to Frankfurt? What's taking you to Frankfurt? This is just a very um, an, a casual, polite way to ask them, why are they going to Frankfurt? Why are you going to Frankfurt? But the reason we can't just say, why are you going to Frankfurt? because that's too personal, okay? That's too personal. Some questions are too personal when you start a conversation, okay? Imagine if we're sitting together on a plane, I sit down beside you, and you ask me, how old are you? What? Why are you asking me how old I am? That's a little bit personal. Or, are you married? I don't even know you, why are you asking me these things? Okay, why are you going to Frankfurt? That's too personal. Now, you can ask these kinds of questions later in the conversation, after you've made, sort of made a friendship with them, okay? But don't ask personal questions at the beginning of a conversation when you're just meeting someone. You need to have some small talk, okay? So, this is a great question if you want to make small talk with someone. How are you doing? What's taking you to Frankfurt today? They'll say, oh, I'm, I'm going on a business trip, or 
I'm going to meet my my cousins. We're going on a trip uh, through Europe or something like that. Okay, so it's a very casual way to start a conversation with someone. Okay, so another sort of awkward situation that you will probably encounter if you fly on a plane is using the bathroom, using the washroom, the restroom. Let's say you're sitting here by the window and you need to use the bathroom. Then you have to bother this person and that person. They have to get up, go into the aisle, let you pass, and then they sit down again. And then after you finished using the bathroom, you come back, you have to bother them again, and then you sit back down in your seat. That's a real inconvenience for them. So what should you say if you need to use the bathroom? Well, this is what you say, okay? You'd say, sorry to bother you, I just need to use the restroom. I'm sorry to bother you, I just need to use the restroom. And they'll say, oh, okay, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. Hi, sorry to bother you again. And then you get back into your seat. Okay, so this is a, a good phrase to use. Sorry to bother you. I just need to... Okay, so let's do some homework. Um, I want to know, have you ever experienced an awkward situation on a flight? Sometimes, sometimes when you fly, there can be a really interesting, weird situations. So I want you to tell me, what is the strangest thing you've seen on a plane? One time, I was taking a trip somewhere, I can't remember where, and there was a guy who got up and went to the bathroom just before landing. Like it was literally like one or two minutes before we landed. He just got up out of his seat and he walked to the bathroom and he stayed in the bathroom until after we landed. I thought that was a pretty strange, pretty crazy. Because you're not supposed to use the bathroom then, right? You're supposed to stay in your seat with your seat belt fastened. But this guy was really casual. He just walked into the bathroom and stayed there until we landed. So anyway, let me know your situation down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.